I mean, it's really beautiful. And and Ava, um, what the work you're doing with Array, I just think is so important. So you are lifting up young female and, and directors of color, but also you're doing your own amazing work. And I know Cherish the Day I just read. I mean, can I'll let you yeah. disclose what you have what you're doing with this new show. Yeah, Cherish the Day is a new show on Oprah Winfrey's network. Um, so it'll be, um, you know, the next show that we make for her after uh, Queen Sugar. And um, we were able to really meet a goal that we had set for ourselves uh, that the industry tells us is impossible, which is to have parity, um, exact balance in our crew. So our crew had the same number, actually, a few more women than men. And this is an industry that tells us, yeah, we can't find any women cameramen, or women people, or no, we can't find any women grips, or no, you know, we just know it's constant, no, no, no. And the refrain is always that there aren't any. Um, so my goal was to set out with my with my team, Paul Garns and Cheryl Miller, to say, well, let's just prove them wrong and just have, have gender parity. So when you walk on our set, you saw equal numbers of men and women and a whole bunch of people of color. And 18 really department heads that are women. 18 women department heads, yeah. Which is really unheard of. Yeah, yeah. It's really phenomenal. <laughs> but I also have to make a point that you've been doing this. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Queen Sugar, and I know that you always use female directors and that that's been a focus of yours. Mm -hmm. So why is it so important for you to just lead by example? Because they say it can't be done, but here you are doing it. Yeah, because, you know, I'm petty. <laughs> <laughs> and if someone says I can't be done, I'll be like, well, I'll show you. And, you know, it really is trying to lead through example, truly. I mean, instead of, you know, tweeting about it and being on panels about it, I just decided to tweet about it, be on panels about it, and also do it. Hey. And so, um, so yeah, I mean, it's, if I say it can't be done, and yet I don't do it, uh, then, you know, I'm, I'm just shouting to the wind. So the goal is to really try to build some, put some architecture around our ideas. We have ideas as it relates to inclusion and representation, but at some point we have to move past ideas to, into action and, stay, and not wait for other people and not wait for permission um, to create our own systems, to disrupt the systems that are there, uh, just to question everything. I mean, this whole industry was not made uh, for easy access by women and people of color. And so to work within it as if it's gonna be easy is to, um, to, to not be thinking clearly. Uh, and so the goal is every day to look, what can we disrupt? How can we make this in a way that it opens it up for everyone to be involved? And I think it's up to viewers to also Support absolutely. Its audience has a plays a huge part in it. You know, uh, you know, everything that we do is for the audience. Every meeting we go into to pitch a show, they're always thinking, "Will people watch? Will people watch?" I mean, you really vote with your viewership. And so, if audiences say we want these kind of things and we want them made in this way, uh, the industry will follow. Really quick, can you just tell us what Cherish the Day is going to be about? Cherish the Day is a romance anthology. Yeah. So every season, it's a different couple, and you go through every episode is one day, cherish the day. And so it's the days in a relationship that change the trajectory of the relationship. That's not always an anniversary. Sometimes that's the day, I mean, for me, it was a big, it was a, it was, it was the day the guy I was with for maybe six months, we were on the freeway and we got a flat tire and we pulled over and I was like, okay, well, you're gonna go change that? And he was like, yeah, we, we should call AAA. And I was like, no, there's room. There's plenty of room and there's a tire in the back and just get the jack and make it happen. And he just didn't know how to change the tire. And that made me feel away. Yeah, yeah. And so that's just a regular day. That's what we call a deal breaker. I mean, for, for I didn't even know it was a deal breaker at the time, but for for us, that was a day that changed the trajectory of a relationship because I felt a way, then he felt a way, that I was feeling a way. And so, you know, when I look back in terms of all the days, that was a pivotal day. So this show explores those days, those little things that happen that change the way you think about yourself and each other. And so it's eight episodes per season, and we've finished our first one and it debuts um, early next year.